So my plan of life is... <gasps> I think everyone needs to do this if you've got visitors, I don't know. Jesus, look at this. Good morning, everyone. It is currently 6.30 a.m. I am going for a sea swim at 40 fit. I'm very tired. Sleep hasn't been good the last few days, but I'm trying to get a new routine. So this was actually perfect for me. Like, this is Siobhan time. This is not me time. I usually, like, wake around 7. Half 7. Sometimes 8. It's like fucking pitch dark. It's like the middle of the fucking night. <laughs> But it's so nice. Uh, I'm glad I got up. I nearly just slept in my bed. So anyone who is going to do like a sea dip or whatever and then like get back into their bed, just don't do it. Just do it, even though I'm not there yet, but it's fine. You happy you got up now? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind getting up. Once you're in, you're in though. And then you, yeah. Just, yeah, then you can just get out and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> You've done it. <laughs> Sarah's house. Say hi, Sarah. I met Sarah really randomly through my therapist, but we'll talk about that <laughs> later. Um, and it is not what time is it? Five to eight, and we have an eight a.m. call with Kyle in Australia. So this is my VA, by the way. <laughs> You've already met her, but I never said. I, was, I think we were a bit drunk, but um, yeah, this is our setup. We're freezing the tank top. Sarah's on the coffee. Hey, Kyle. <gasps> Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> we just went for a sea swim. Oh my god. Good morning. You're vlogging. Good morning. Are you vlogging me? Yeah. <laughs> we're just like manifesting that soon we will all not be vlogging. We just will all be together. I know. Can you believe I bought another course? I can't stop like. We oh thought we were god. trying to get you out of debt and now you're buying more courses. <laughs> I can't stop. I love them. I, I've decided to put like money away for education every month for okay. my courses. <laughs> so what course are you doing? Um, this one's on speed reading by Jim Quick. Oh yeah. Sweet Did you get that on Zipperville or, or Mindvalley? What? Did you get on Mindvalley? Yeah. Uh, I, I love Mindvalley. Mindvalley. Mindvalley is like a uh, um, how do you call it? self development membership subscription site. Oh. I kind of like want my business, the brave way to turn look like that at one point, but we only have one course for now, not five million, but anyway. We'll get there. So the brave way is now launched like with the beta testers with some few selected from my Instagram and my friends. I can't believe that I have actually done that because I remember, do you remember ages ago in my emails, I was like, okay, today is my task is to just learn what mic is good for doing these sorts of videos. So I had to get all these different mics and research all these different mics and had to research what's the best sounds, what's the best thing, how to do it like so that it's copyright free and all this stuff. So it's just like, I can't believe that it's like done and finished. It took like eight months or nine months maybe, but we got there. I took my time. I didn't get too stressed over it cause I was like, it's not about the end goal. It's about the journey. Bossing. Can't wait to, for you all to listen. Are you being serious? Yes. All right. <laughs> um, hi, my name is Catherine and I am a virtual assistant. Hi, my name is Sarah Kim. I am a food blogger, food travel blogger, <laughs> food stylist and photographer. Hi, I'm Leanne <laughs> and I'm a VA as well. <laughs> Guys, I totally forgot to vlog yesterday, but we got we were really tired. Catherine's here, and what did we do? We went, we worked. I had a counting call. Ooh. Yeah, we didn't do much. We were so tired from our six a.m. rides and our sea swim. So, and um, we're just gonna read. And yeah, that is focus music on. Mhm. Mm and then we're gonna start our days. And now I have. It's so funny because I can hear myself in this. 
I have a little podcast. Um, so I do people's podcasts. I, I don't do them when I'm in season, but I'm almost finished my season, so I'm going to start doing other people's podcasts. So yeah, that um, takes up like another hour of my day, and I'm looking at all um, people's progress on the brave as well. I'm like, mm, I can see you. Why have we not started? But um, yeah, and then Catherine's away to get me a shake. Good morning, guys. Um, I tried to vlog when I had people around, and I, I'm, I'm just better at vlogging when I'm by myself. So yeah, I wanted to show you around the apartment today. Um, I'm still in limbo. Like I mentioned, we've been out on Thursday. But I wanted to stay longer but I was like it is daylight robbery here so I'm like I need to try and find somewhere else so I'm literally last one com rather trying to find somewhere else maybe I'll stay here not 100% sure we'll see the day before because that's like it sounds like me so today I just did a little bit of meditation about improving relationships I'm doing a little bit of research as well for my new courses because I finished the other ones so now I'm on to more and yeah, I just had Catherine up, who is my VA. She just left this morning. We did a podcast yesterday. It was amazing. It's a bit emotional. Very good. Um. So, yeah. And then I'm just going to have my coffee and read my books. I'm reading 101 essays to change the way you think. So, that's my morning routine. I get up. I meditate. Um. I don't have my coffee before I meditate. I have, like, a hot water and lemon. And then I meditate. And then I come out here and read my book for an hour. And then, yeah, I get to work. No, I don't get to work this live. I'm going to the gym first. I have a PT. And then I get to work. Like, when I'm reading, I always put this on now. So Jack puts this on. It's like a Holy Lands thing from when they were uni. They used to put it on when they were, I don't know, on their TV. But I'm a little obsessed with it now. It makes me feel really cosy. It just makes me feel, like, so nice or something. I don't know. It's, like, so dark in here. I know I have this thing on and didn't work out the last time we had a vlog, but now we've knacked it and it works and we are a fan. I know it looks like I can wear this all day, but I actually went to the gym. Did did actually went to the gym twice, which is something that I never do, but I think it's because like I'm here alone that I don't have like well, I do have things to do. But anyway, no, that because Catherine went this morning. And yeah. So yeah, I just went to the gym and then did some work and now I am here, right? And my mom and my auntie's come on. right actually she's not my auntie but I always just say she's my auntie and um, you know your mom's she's actually my cousin but like she's my mom's like best friend that I've just known and I just call her my auntie I literally got like little pack of stuff for them because um I think it's really cute when you invite someone to their, your house and you get them really cute things so you can help me unpack it so it's like just like all my mom's favorite stuff and I got them croissants and like bakery things from the morning got them loads of wine and then I got them like look at this because Jack is coming through so mommy aunt and Jack that is so cute I know but um yeah because what I was saying was I was just having my mom up and then Jack was just like I was like you can just like do whatever you want like you know do voice something but then we're doing sober October well he was the one that made me do sober not me it made but like he was like I'm doing it so I was like okay I'll do it so I'm doing sober October um which I'm actually really happy about so yeah, he was like, oh, sure, I'm just gonna come up. So he just was, he's taken my mom up and my auntie up now. Also, by the way, Jack now works with my dad and my mom, which is like weird, I know, but like, I don't know. So he works in the school with my mom. I don't know. And then he, and then the days he doesn't work in the school because he's subbing, he's working out with my dad, doing gutters. My dad's a gutter man. He puts up gutters. So it is so funny because like I'm obsessed with Jack and like the workplace. Yeah, he's been spending all the time with my mom and dad, so now he's gonna come up and see his girlfriend. I'm gonna set this up now and make it like a cute pack for them to come. And then I'm gonna take them out for dinner. And then oh my god, do you know where we're going on Sunday though? With the escape boats where people you go in like try to escape and like my mom and my aunt would be so funny, I can't date. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna show you the apartment now um after. Uh, and I'm going to tell you my plans as well because like uh, I'm meant to be moving out here on Thursday. So I will put this together and I'll show you and then I'll do a uh, apartment tour because the apartment is really cute and really nice. I'm obsessed with it if only it wasn't like an arm and a leg but you know. Look how cute this is. This is just a thing. Anyway, this is for the morning. I got them yogurt and I got them like croissants and stuff. Um, I got them some cupcakes. I got... um. Mum and Bernie's favourite wine. I also got Aunt Chocolate. Mummy. Jack! 
And then all mummy's favourites, Jack's favourite popcorn, some candy kittens. Oh yeah, and the lint chocolate. Like, I think everyone needs to do this if you've got visitors. I don't know. I think that's just so cute. So that's with it. I'm going to show you around now. So I'm just going out to the first balcony. I know two balconies can't go. This is just a little balcony. I sit out here sometimes and have drinks, but when you're out here, people can really hear you, like, talking about everything, because I can hear everyone when they're out here. So then this is the house. Or the apartment. I mean, you've probably seen it, but this is, like, my meditation chair. Uh, TV lights. I love that little light feature over there. It's so cute. And this, this is actually broke. Like it's a little broke here. And then I got, and then Jack fixed it to like make it not sink anymore. Yeah, that's where I sit. <laughs> this is the like office area. This is where I do like podcasts and stuff. Um, it's quite big space if you know what I mean. So it's quite, it's quite good. And then over here's the kitchen and. Let me pack, it's so good. So, yeah, it's pretty big, it's good. It's good vibes. Um, and then, okay, let me just put, actually, let me just put this on. So when you come in, there's like a nice big mirror. I'm not talking about the washing behind it, but over there. And then you've got like your washroom. There's my roller skates. We'll not talk about the washing. Um, and then you've got, so this is one bathroom. So there's two bathrooms for a two bedroom, which is so good. Um, and then this was Siobhan's room, but it is now the room where my mom and aunt will be sleeping. So yeah, and then you've got like a little balcony out here. I mean, I've stretched there like once, but whatever, you know, but it would be really nice in the summer. Um, this is my room. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just did my hair. And then, oh yeah, this is, oh god, I'm not talking about that storage room, but there is a big storage room in there. So yeah, this is my bathroom. Is it messy? If it's not too messy, it's okay. Hi. Um, this bathroom's nicer because it has like the shutter and the bath. Me and Jack actually went into the bath once. It was literally the funniest day of my life. I'll not talk about it. It was actually so funny. And I'm just like, I still think the two glasses of wine were in there. They're gone now. Did I clean so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Like, it's not really exciting. Actually, it is exciting. I actually love this apartment. It's so fucking nice. And it's like right in the middle of the dock. So it's like so nice. And I'm so hungry and I just want to go. But I want them to see it first. I need to put the fruit in. Because I took it out just for you guys. But yeah. Oh yeah, I need to tell you my plan of life. Hold on. This is very formal. And you know what, I was sitting here this morning wearing the same outfit, wasn't I? But this is my, like, comfies. Okay, so my plan of life is, so basically what happened was ballet opened. And I'm so excited. Everyone's away already. I'm so excited. Obviously, like, where I want to be is Australia, but also I've always, I always want to spend time in Bali. Um like all the time if, if like everything was isn't it mad that like you're just not allowed into places like it's it's weird that like people just aren't allowed in and out of Australia it actually breaks my heart and not for me but for my friends because they just can't see their mums and dads at all and I'm just like ugh why like it's just weird when you think about it like it's like a normal thing for us just to talk about that now but when you truly think about it you're like that is fucked up but yeah that's anyway Hopefully, they said that in November, it's opening for Australian citizens, which is fine because that means we're still on the right step. It doesn't mean like any of them can come out and in unless they're citizens or PR or permanent residents. Um, so hopefully, I don't know, we'll see what happens. But anyway, Valley's opened, I'm kind of buzzing about it. Um, and obviously Jack was like, me and Jack always plan to go to Valley after Christmas. And then um, it opened up and I was like to Jack, I was like, do you want to just go? And he was like, because like he's literally like not getting that much work. It's kind of like all over the place because he's stubborn. And then I was like, should we just go? And he was like, yeah, fuck it, let's go. So we're just going to go in like a few weeks. And we have to quarantine. Oh my God, I can't deal with me and Jack quarantine. It's going to be, it's going to be very intense. And it's also going to be very intense for us because, you know, we're very separate at the minute. Like we have... 
I have my life here and he has his life there and he always has his life um, so like there he's gonna come over there and like visit and see my life so it's gonna be like difficult for us as well because you know we'll have to be together all the time um, but like I know lots of people there that I didn't know Jack's gonna make friends like everyone so it's gonna be fine um, but I think it'll be a massive challenge for us to go over there together but we're gonna have fun we're literally gonna when we do quarantine we're gonna bring like board games and um, try and make it as fun as possible maybe do like some live Instagrams or something I don't know um, so yeah that's my new plan in life so I'm literally him and a hand about everything in life I'm like should I stay here should I go to Venice should I go to Portugal should I like I was just sitting here doing all these things because it's so expensive to live here and I'm sort of just like what am I doing even though I, I guys I, I'm not actually we would have to Dublin I just obviously need like a longer if I come back next time I need to like have like a six month lease um, rather than just doing a short term because it's so expensive but it's so nice I love it I actually love it here and everyone's so so sound but I'm also supposed to go to Bali and like switch off because when I go to Bali I just work on like me I don't do as much I do, do a lot of work but like I don't do as much I don't know like it feels different it feels like I'm out of the way I feel like here when I'm here as well there's just a lot of like a lot of judgment and stuff like I just feel you always feel like you can't do anything because I don't know weird because there's so much like negativity and stuff like when I, I feel it here I do feel it I feel like I get trolled a lot more here and not that I ever do anything not that it ever bothers me but I just feel like I can be free in Bali or something That was your first dinner. Ever sober October? Oh, awful. Oh, awful. Oh, if you're okay, shut your mouth. Which I'm not gonna do. Oh, it was your time. fucking idea to do sober October? I joined up the Facebook event, I. That's it. And then I got fucking roped <laughs> under. <laughs> these two are here, like. <laughs> we can't wait to get bored. I know, look. <laughs> sober October, what? <laughs> <laughs> We've been there, done that, poor lot of t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Words of wis wisdom before you go to bed. Um, Life's too short. Enjoy life. Rock on, Tommy. <laughs> Plan nothing. Just take it as it comes. <laughs> Plan nothing. Hey, enjoy the holidays. And just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Well. <laughs> CBD. I was like sitting on CBD and Jack was like, what the hell is this? SIBO? It's fucking vile and I kind of wonder what it's... It's not nice. Like I've leaves. literally used it for two nights, but I've actually had really good sleep. So it's I've just been like, like leaves made fucking centuries ago. I've actually had a nice rotten. good sleep now, though. Is that what it's meant to do? Yeah. Straight in the nut. Oh, God. are you okay? I've nearly tried to kill Jack twice today. Tell them what happened. No, I'm gonna. So Shania had done like a wel a welcome. I showed the vlog. A welcome pack, and then she had croissants that had almonds in it. And I, the only thing that I had had fucking almonds. No, listen in to it. this. So I bought two almond croissants for my for Bernie and Mom, and I bought me and Jack chocolate croissants for the morning. And you seen that platter? You never specified you which platter? had nuts and which no, didn't. No, the whole died. platter was set out right. And I turn and I come in. I'm like, hey, guys, guys, got you this anyway. Turn my back for two seconds and, and I goes, oh, Bernie, yes, your croissant are ready. <laughs> Jack was like, no, I had it. And I was like, oh my God, Jack, there's nuts in it. So I had to oh, run downstairs fear. and get his Abbey pen. <laughs> I know. But I Didn't have to use it right enough. wasn't too bad. So. He freaked no me out. I was, what was I like? Are you panicked? Hey? I was like, oh, like freaking out. I kept looking panic. at him. I was like, oh my God, he's just going to have a seizure or something. But he's, <laughs> oh, he's okay. He's okay. No. Ah, good on you. Good on you. Start to the week, folks. Oh no. <laughs> Give her the egg face. Well, somebody says to me, um, is Jack gonna trademark his finger? I don't even realise he's doing it anymore. Yeah. I don't even realise him doing it. It happens far more than 
<laughs> Actually, really nice. Okay, say night night. Good night. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Are you a city boy now? I don't mind the lifestyle, you know. Yeah? It's all right. <laughs> I'm about the dirt too right now. Oh! <laughs> My love language Is your time and attention Won't you give some of it to me I've been lonely lately I've been feeling neglected and I want you to show me Can we get back on the same page tonight? Can we stay? And why don't you talk to me, talk to me Let's start a conversation When you spend your time with me You speak in my love language Talk to me no, I told you not to Where are we going now? <laughs> to get away from me. Like this is the most random vlog. I'm so sorry. Like my camera died, and you know what I mean. But anyway, a random week in Dublin. I'm going to Women's Circle now. So the Women's Circle is in Dublin on Fleet Street. Sorry, I had to in case someone was sitting outside there, and I was like sitting vlogging. So yeah, and it's on Fleet Street. There's usually about ten to twelve people were allowed, and we just kind of um. I was gonna say wing it, but we don't really wing it. We kind of just have topics every week, and then we see how everyone gets on with struggles throughout the week and how we improved. So I actually missed last week because I had something on. I can't remember. So I'm going back this week, and we're doing the topic is confidence. Also, highly recommend everyone to do women's circles. They are so beneficial, and like, it's so good to meet up with like people that you don't actually know, and then like create these bonds that are different from your friends. But yeah, but look how pretty Dublin is. Like it's so pretty. It's like my favorite place ever. Well, the one time that I'm early for Women's Circle, it's the wrong day, but there was a purpose. I went there and right, right beside the Women's Circle we hold, um, there is like a kitchen for they give out meals to people who don't have a meal and they have like hot um, drinks. And there's always lots of people lining up to get them or whatever. And I stopped and chatted to a guy there. He's called Benja. Anyway, I started talking. He's so friendly and so nice. And I was just like, they do so much good work in there. And I always want to stop and ask them if they need any help. But every time I come out of Women's Circle, I'm always, um, it's always over. So I stopped and found out that they found it was called the Lighthouse in Dublin. So if anyone knows what that is and wants to help out, um, you can email them. I'll put the email here. And I just emailed them there to see if they needed any help with anything like, because the people are so kind and nice outside that are getting the food. And they do it every day. Like they give out that food every day, it's amazing. So that was a purpose, I had to go and chat to those people. Amazing, and if you want to see Women's Circle, I'm just gonna go like this. No emotions, no behavior, and not what you do. Yeah. Okay, so. This is the end of the video because we don't know what's going on in this video. We're just gonna have to deal with it and see what it looks like when we're editing it. So we are, Mondays and Thursdays are Brave Team meetings. This is Kyle, our project manager. Hi guys. Hi. Hi everyone. And how was your morning meeting? Amazing, starting off a meeting with a dance to heal. Yes, we did a dance. The meetings are always quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed my week of Dublin and See you soon. Bye.